Welcome and welcome back. I'm Eden. Today we're finally starting my back courtyard makeover. Make sure you subscribe and like and share. Let's get started. So I'm just using this um, citrus orange strip to see how much of the paint I could get off of this wall. Just want to show you this really quick. I already started scraping it. It hasn't even been a full hour. It's only been 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do next is apply this product to the whole wall and then start scraping. So I have some leftover exterior lime wash from when I remodeled the bathroom. Um, this is for exterior walls. That's the reason I use it for the bathroom. So a little FYI, the Vasari I used in my bedroom. Don't use it in the bathroom because most lime washes, they need to be cured to be able to use it in the restroom or else you, they'll just kind of mount off the wall. You can literally, like the paint in my room, you could take a baby wipe and wipe off the paint. So <laughs> if you don't want that to happen, you're going to have to cure it. Um, there, that's another product that you apply on it. Or you could buy the exterior lime wash and this is resistant to water and it's easier to wipe. So I got a little ahead of myself after I scraped this wall. I went ahead and lime washed it because I had a little bit of lime wash paint left over. I wanted to see how it looked. I loved it. We picked up some sample brick. I've decided to go with this one. Just a little tip, when you put on the citrus strip, I would cover it because it does make it easier when you go back and scrape it. So I still need to do all this wall. And that is actually an old DIY to cover my ugly AC unit, but we got a new AC. so. I was gonna trash it, but then I decided to use it to cover the um, box right here. And then I put the bird feeder in there. What else? I moved some plants around. I moved the chop saw onto the other side. I'm gonna build something to kind of cover that, but that's gonna be later. But yeah, this is how it's looking so far. Hopefully today we could get the rest of the bricks and I could start with at least this planter bed. So we went to Lowe's and picked up more bricks. Forever, but it's done. We'll find out if it holds. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay, so backyard all done. The planters are done. Let me show you some of the flowers I've been planting. So this is citronella. It gives a nice pink flower. Not sure what this is called. I'll pop the name if I figure it out. It gives a nice red flower. These are lupin. So they give a purple flower. I got these out of a bag of seeds that were California um, wildflowers. I'll pop the names up on the screen. And then, okay, so I think this is called some kind of synthiosis plant. I'll put the name of it up there, but it gives a nice dark purple, almost blue flower. If you saw my porch makeover video, this is actually the plant I was going to throw away because it looked like it was dying, but I decided to bring it back here and it's actually doing really well. So this is catnip. At least that's what it said when I looked it up. And this one, this poor sad plant, I forgot what it's called, but it didn't make it when I transplanted it in here. So I'm thinking of maybe putting in a monkey flower. So I'll pop a picture of it here. I thought it looked nice with the purple and blue flower. Most of the time this space is like our entertaining area right here. So technically, because our dining area is really, really small, can only fit three people, we actually line up tables all along here with chairs. So when we're having large gatherings or birthday parties or whatever. Also, quick thing, I had extra bricks. So I lined them up around here, but I'm not sure if I should keep them or not. Let me post a picture of how it looks like without the bricks. So yeah, leave a comment below. Should I keep the bricks? Should I get rid of them? Not sure what to do. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Who knew building a couple of planner boxes and painting a wall can make such a big difference? I just want to remind you to please hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new DIY or Ceramics video. My schedule is kind of all over the place, so make sure you click that notification bell. Also, I just want to say a quick thank you to my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. I do appreciate your support. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It does help out this channel a lot. And make sure you hit that like button if you like this video just a little bit. You guys have a great day and a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.